Welcome to Impact Moment right here on DCTV. I'm Alvin Jones, and today we're going to have some fun because we're going to talk about the ultimate power. That's Kid Power. And the CEO of Kid Power Incorporated is Andrea Tobin, and she's here with us right now. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, the inner kid in me is coming out. <laughs> That's what we try to do. You know what they say, with a child's heart, nothing's going to get us down. That is true. And we need their energy and passion and creativity now more than ever. And their ability. One of the things I do like about children, they will ask the question, what is Kid Power Incorporated? Sure. We are a youth development organization here in the district. We are a nonprofit in our name, Kid Power. At our core, we believe that young people can truly overcome their obstacles in their community. They can be the agents of positive change. They can be the power um, if we give them the right tools and opportunities. So we provide after school, summer, in school um, programs to help young, give young people those tools. I understand you guys uh, at Kid Power, you have representatives who run for, I won't say office, but their rightful place and they are a part of making policies that go on inside of Kid Power. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I think um, one of the really important things that Kid Power tries to do is recognize that every student has the same potential, but every student does not have equal opportunity. So at Kid Power, we want young people to be leaders. We know they can be leaders. Uh, and so one of our programs and activities is having young people be elected by their peers um, to be representatives of Kid Power. And they work with us well, senior staff and board to make sure that they can come back to their classrooms and implement classroom policies for their program. And we also have them work with us and city council on larger DC issues. You know, what I really, really like about what you're doing with Kid Power is the fact that you are showing the youth how things really work and you're making them a part of it and you're letting them see how this makes a difference. Um, in the last few years, what, have, what changes have you seen within Kid Power? Lots of changes. And I'm, I'm grateful to see our community actually realizing that young people can be vehicles of change and help advance equity. I'm seeing a lot of that. I remember when I was at one of our elementary schools, I told the principal, I'm really excited. The kids really want to do a, a, a drive. They want to find out to, uh, toys and clothes that they don't want, and they want to give those to homeless children. And the principal told me, our students are homeless. You can't do that. You you know, they're, they're the ones that are homeless. And I said, no, you, we need to teach our young people that they can help others. And that is such a fundamental, tangible opportunity that kids need to feel successful and to feel valued and to feel important to grow. And, and, and now I, I would have that conversation with principals and they would agree with me. Um, and so I think that as a community, we are seeing these big changes where we're recognizing the power um, of students and how that they have to give back to their community um, to be successful. What are some of the challenges that you have with, with Kid Power and what are some of the things that you want people to know? Many of our challenges are still the resource allocation in the city. Um, I think we are all aware that there is a wide equity gap um, and achievement gap here in the city. And I'm really pleased to see DC public schools and our city leaders addressing this and providing more funding for at-risk students. But I still see that as one of our biggest challenges. Last year alone at one of our schools, which is in Ward 8, um, less than 10% of students tested at proficiency in English language arts. So just like let that sink in, 90% of students are not meeting grade level expectations and 17% of the student body is considered homeless. Um, and that's unacceptable and that's a challenge that we need to address because we know every student has the same potential. So that's one of the biggest challenges that we still hear, see in the district. Who are some of your advocates? Who are some of your best friends? <laughs> We have a lot of best friends. I think at the core of our being, we believe in community building. Um, it really drives our work. It really drives our values. And right now with everything going on, I think our, our programs are amazing and our programs are strong and they're evidence-based and we're stretching our creative muscles. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's our values and our mission what drives us and allows us to be nimble. And so we have reached out and worked with so many community partners. We work with city council, we work with DC public schools, we work with a range of other nonprofit organizations um, to come together and make sure that we're 
getting resources to students um, together. So I, I, we have over a dozen community partners. How can someone reach out to you? You can go to our website, www.kidpowerdc.org. All right, so thank you very much for joining us and giving us that information that we really know that people who are watching are really now excited about, and they're probably either going to get involved or know some kids that they can get involved. So we'd like to thank Andrea Tobin, the CEO of Kid Power Incorporated, for Impact Moments right here on DCTV. I'm Alvin Jones. Thank you.